What's up guys, I want to bring you a little tutorial on how to use the Thing Animator in Smith. So I've launched up uh, uh, the Yun Battle here. I'm going to be working mostly in the uh, first person camera. I'm going to turn on Neo mode just so we can kind of like fly around and make things a little bit easier to manipulate. Um, so the first thing to do is to switch to the Thing Animator tab. Um, you're going to want to left click on the choose thing button and then right click on the character you want to animate. Uh, that kind of captures him. Uh, at this point you're ready to start animating. Uh, you can either um, or you can import an existing keyframe animation. So for example uh, Yun, let's say Yun Flip and pressing the space bar uh, or clicking on play will play the animation. That doesn't look like much of a flip, does it? Let's try this one. That's a bit more complicated. Um, I'm at the end of the animation. If you press the home key, then it'll jump you to the beginning of the animation. Uh, if the animation's looping, then it will uh, uh, repeat on its own. Uh, we have duration controls and time snap. Uh, time snap effectively determines the frames per second that uh, the animation is going to be playing at, or the keyframe spacing, if you will, the keyframe precision. Um, the Mouse wheel will let you zoom in and out, and then when you're zoomed in, if you drag with the right mouse button, you can um, kind of pan around the timeline. Um, this little section here uh, is the uh, what's called a ruler, uh, but basically just clicking or dragging in here lets you change the uh, uh, what's called the reference time, which is the red line. Um, this little top section is an overview of the entire animation with the yellow region representing what we're zoomed in at. So as you can see, it's moving uh, when I when I pan. You can also click and drag on that manually or even click and drag the edges to uh, change kind of this w uh, represents the window uh, that you're seeing here. So, you know, I can expand it out like this to see the entire animation or I can zero in on a a specific region if I want to in that sense. It's the same as zoom and pan, just different. Uh, here we have the track list um, clicking on any of these, sorry, left clicking on any of these will um, change the selected track uh, or you can just right click on a mesh in the world. Some of the transforms might be a little screwed up. Maybe by the time you're seeing this they'll actually be fixed. Um, alternatively, you can press the up and down cursor keys to just cycle through the tracks. Uh, and also while talking about the cursor keys you can press left and right to do uh, to move the reference time by whatever the time snap is. So basically one frame at a time, if you will. Uh, when you have a, s a track selected, um, pressing the left and right uh, square bracket keys will jump you between keyframes. So if I go up to this hand track here, for example, um, and I press the left square bracket, it brought me to this keyframe. If I press the right square bracket, it brings me to this one. Uh, whereas it, you know, if I had a different track selected, then it, it would have brought me there. Yeah, whatever. Um, you can lock tracks by right clicking them um, and basically this prevents you from being able to select that track. You cannot uh, manipulate the keyframes at all. It protects them uh, and even right clicking will not select these tracks. Um, so for the keyframes themselves, uh, just clicking on one will select it, it turned yellow. Uh, you can drag them left and right. Um, you can press delete 
to delete selected keyframes and you can multi-select just by dragging with the left mouse button so you can multi-select all these and then I can drag them around as a group or I can delete them as a group um, you can hold shift to add to your selection um, you can hold control to toggle your uh, toggle nodes so they they swapped this one previously was on uh, and you can hold alt to subtract from your selection um, you can hold shift while dragging with the left uh, mouse button to duplicate keyframes um, or you can uh, press control C to copy keyframes and control V to paste them or control X oh that crashed oh well um, I guess you can't cut maybe that'll be fixed at some point uh, what else do we have here uh, the snapshot um, button will create keyframes at whatever the current orientation of everything is um, like that <clears throat> and the sync sound um, you can manually type in uh, the name of a, of a sound file uh, that can be any any uh, wave or mp3 or whatever uh, in your JK path uh, it uses the same logic as finding any other resources uh, but this will um, and only if you uh, are at the start point of the animation and only when you press play it will play that sound so it's helpful for synchronizing the animation to a reference sound um, all right so that brings us I think to actually manipulating the uh, the model which um, as mentioned before you can right click on parts of the mesh to select them and then these controls when you hover over the box it'll give you a little preview as to what that parameter will adjust and just you you can you can type in the box or you can click up and down um, but probably the quickest method is to just click and drag in the box up and down to uh, change the value um, that's probably the easiest way there's no uh, undo or control Z support at this time so you know sorry um, although you know by the time you're watching this try it maybe it works um, but at the time of filming uh, control Z does not work um, the marker you can choose one of the predefined uh, markers like the the oh, that doesn't seem to work very well um, well you can use the cursor keys anyway um, to pick the special uh, keyframe markers like when to trigger a footstep sound or the body hitting the, the ground kind of thing oh, I think I know what's going on with this actually it's interfering with or it's uh, detecting the uh, yeah uh, there's also two new ones um, which correspond to values 14 and 15 uh, cog marker 0 and 1 these are um, specific to Smith that um, when this marker is hit it will send a uh, a key marker event or message to the capture cog of the thing that's playing the animation so you can use this to embed um, cog markers or cog events uh, into your animation um, which is pretty cool uh, there's uh, the markers track here at the end um, is kind of the placeholder so if I bring up um, presumably Yun has uh, footstep sounds no, uh, no he doesn't okay uh, well if I choose Kyle and import a Kyle walk animation then um, 
it's brought in the uh, the footstep markers uh, into the markers track within the thing animator you can actually set markers on uh, in any keyframe of any track uh, and it doesn't it it works just fine when you export to key it will collect all them up and put them into the uh, keyframes markers list but um, it simplified the code actually to just kind of have a generic keyframe type that supported everything. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's see, that pretty much covers it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else interesting in the timeline editor. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, uh, lastly, of course, you can import key files and export key files, but I recommend that you, you know, save your kind of animation workspace to the Smith Flex animation format, uh, which is S uh, file extension SFA. Um, that uh, <clears throat> that's the native format that this animation system is using. Uh, well, th this part. Um, you know the actual engine uses keyframes, of course, but um, it it can store extra data like which tracks are locked, for example, um, and it, yeah, and maybe future there will be like uh, easing uh, attributes that you can set on the keyframes, so those will be stored in the SFA file and you'll still for in this example only have two keyframes but when you export the key and there's an easing going on then of course you know JK uh, key files don't support easing so it will have to generate a bunch of keyframes in between um, which importing that back in would make it a, a nightmare to try to edit uh, so yeah you uh, think of this kinda like the .jed file, and think of this kind of like the .jk file. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. We.